I the night then what I and then I went to the I don't I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was fullest creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family, before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses, not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes, I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan, and I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there, Wilson. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think ja, she's involved? Ja, Wahrheit, How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned äh, Mrs. Also Hawkins so just yeah, before dying. Man, yeah, it's no coincidence. Yeah. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, Please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it.
Joe Hawkins, Alter 33, Tätigkeit Malerin. Ihre Vermählung mit Hawkins right. vor vielen Jahren überrascht. Aber sie drive her mad. Eine reiche Bosnien. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Frances' widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Also, that's false. 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 Also, that's ich weiß nicht, was mir seit einem Unfall beim Einsturz zu tun hat, oder wird ich nicht schon wieder auf den Beinen sein. Der Mann ist gefährlich und ich könnte schwören, dass er mehr über all die Vorgänge hier weiß, als er erzählen möchte. Sicher. Kapitel 6 Wohnsitz der Sanders. St. Peter's St. Colton und Bradley beschlossen, den Pfarrer Hawken gemeinsam zu lösen, der sie nachgehen. Francis Sanders, ein Kunstsammler und Freund der Malerin, der direkt vor Pierce starb, der den über den Schulhofer zu sprechen, den, den der vor seinem Tod erwähnte. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me.
May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. H how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help? So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. <clears throat> I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler? to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? To this episode, bis zur nächsten Folge. Tschüss. Bis dann. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. of artists.
Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler, finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? A house of artists. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? <laughs> 